I misplayed the end game. Oh no, I'm gonna lose some. It's 22%. Can we live this? Dark Pulse, we can live that. Yes, yes, Superior. Oh my god, yes, yes. Oh my god, what a game. Holy crap, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Pulse. Oh my god, what a game. Oh yes, your SG Electivize is gonna go 1 and 0 oh in the Goodbye Aorus tournament against Turkey and his Toronto Luxray. Here's Megahorn, he connects, and we get to roll in our favor. Those 44 defense EVs won us the game. Welcome one, welcome all to the reinstatement of the GOT. If you guys don't know what the GOT is, it is a tournament that was held in October to November of last year. Originally called the Goodbye Aorus Tournament, has been rebranded into the Grand Overseas Tournament. We are bringing back this tournament and we are looking to have between 32 and 64 participants. Now, the way this tournament works is it's an open draft system as it was with the last one. If you guys didn't see the last one, I'll try to leave a link in the description to the announcement video for it so you can get a feel for it. But it's an open draft. Each team is going to end up with eight Pokemon on their team consisting of uh, one Mega Pokemon, which is optional, and one Z eligible Pokemon, which is also optional. I don't know why you wouldn't take either or because they're both very good, but... That's the system. Uh, Omni boosting Z moves are banned, such as Z celebrate and Z conversion. We are taking this idea from the uh, Global Battle Association, the GBA, of course. Uh, it's a randomized draft order, which means snake format. Uh, well, it's randomized draft order, so we don't know which order you're going to be drafting in, and it's also snake format, which means it goes 1 to 16 and then back the other way. Uh, there is no obligation to Mega Evolve your Mega Pokemon on the first turn that it is in. So things like Mega Slowbro, Mega Sharpedo really benefit from this. Uh, of course, like I said, it's a free draft, which means there's no prices, point values, tier, none of that. You pick whatever you want in whatever round you want. Uh, any Pokemon not listed in our draft pool on the document that is not in the Ubers tier or banned may be drafted. So if you find anything that's missing, you can draft it. Let us know about it. Uh, leave picks with someone. This is a very, very important rule. When we're going to be drafting, please leave your picks with someone. If you have any doubt that you will not be around for your pick, please leave one to two poten to potential picks for the next two rounds with someone that you trust and that you know will be around at the time of your pick. Also, make sure to let us know in the server, in the Discord server, who you left them with. There will be a specific chat for that. And uh, let us know before, uh, before or after you leave them. Uh, if we receive to, fa uh, to if we fail to receive a pick, excuse me, within 45 minutes of your turn commencing, you will be skipped. This is because last time we did this, it took way too long to get through all of the picks. Uh, it took us like a week and a half for 32 people, which is ridiculous. Uh, it should have been way quicker, but so many people took so many so much time on their picks. Uh, if all picks are taken that somebody left with somebody else, then we ha will have no choice but to wait for the coach in question. Now, you're probably wondering how this tournament works, so let's go over it. First thing first is it's a group stage, so it's a lot like uh, American, uh, not American, European football, excuse me, or soccer, uh, in other words. So there are going to be groups, and the number of groups is going to vary based on how many people we actually get. I'm aiming for 64. If we end up with only 32, then it's 32. Uh, 32 means that there will be two simultaneous drafts going on at the same time of 16 players in each. And if we have 64, then there will be four drafts going on at the same time. So the group stage, you will be placed into a group with three other players. So there will be four total, as you can see on your screen. Uh, and there will be, this time, instead of the matches being played randomly throughout two weeks, each match is going to happen one week at a time. It's going to be a lot better for scheduling, uh, so that you can get your matches done on time. It's just better, it's more organized in general. It's less tournament style, but 
it's uh, it's a lot more organized like I said now the thing about this is that it's gonna be held over five weeks this means that within your group of four players you will be facing the same teams twice at least two of them so get ready for that that's gonna uh, force a lot of creativity in your team building uh, by the way this is completely open to anybody that wants to sign up so if you've never played draft league format before and you're interested in joining you can join there's not a problem and near the end of the video I will tell you exactly how to join so like I said all players are gonna be randomized into groups immediately after the draft uh, first two teams from each group after five weeks move, move on to the bracket stage we'll, which we'll get to in a second uh, the order will be determined by points differential and uh, direct comparison as to placement in each group uh, replays of each match have to be saved and added to the respective tab on the sheet so I'll show you guys where that's at uh, when we oh well, actually you guys are gonna see it on the sheet I'll explain everything once you get into the server uh, group stage matches be begin the Monday after the draft is completed and each team has until Saturday 11 59 p.m. Eastern on the same week to start or complete their match for that week so this is the way the group stage works when we move into the bracket stage, depending again on how many teams total we have, there will be a round of 16. Uh, and then a, if we have 32 teams, there's going to be a round of 16. If we have 64 teams, there's going to be a round of 32. And then it's going to narrow down to the 16 that you guys see on your screen. Moving on into the quarterfinals, and then the semifinals, and then finally the finals. So depending on how many players we have, it will extend the tournament by one week at most because we are going to have a round of 32. So, very simple. All you have to do to sign up for this tournament, like I said, it's an open tournament, is you have to go and click the, the link in the description for the sheet, for the document, for the GOT, the Grand Overseas Tournament. And you have to go to the Team List tab at the bottom. I'll actually put it on screen for you guys if I can. Here we go. Let's uh, let's put this up. It's a little bit big right now, so it's going to be hard to center. Uh, let me just fix that up for you. I'll try to keep the uh, the other image that was on the screen on until I get this fixed. All right, so there we go. Here's the rules tab, and then down at the bottom, I'll try to get that on screen. You have the team list tab. So all you need to do is go here. As you can see, there are already 14 teams signed up at the moment. Which means that if you want to get your name in here, you have to get it in here. We are going to start drafting on the uh, 28th of April, Friday the 28th. Meaning that you have to be signed up at the latest by Thursday the 27th. That means in nine days from now. Nine days is more than enough time for you guys to get five or six simple columns filled out. All you need to put in is your team name, your name or coach name. Your Twitter, your YouTube is optional because uploads are not mandatory for this league. Your team logo, as you can see, all of the links are on Imgur. If you don't have an Imgur, make an account. It's very easy. Upload your PNG file to it. I can even show you guys an example. This is mine. It opens up this page, and you have the uh, image right here, which you can directly download. So that's that and then finally these are grayed out here because these people are already in the server because they were there from the last go around we have 14 players sticking around with us this time around which is really cool and uh, I would like your Twitter discord uh, as well as the hashtag this is so that I can add you on discord and then following that add you to the server the last time we did this we added everybody on Skype and then moved over to discord this time we're being a little bit more intelligent we're gonna start straight on discord so make sure to do that as you can see here guys this is the draft pool uh, some of it is cut off over here but every Pokemon uh, that's valid for drafting and that has some validity and some viability is on this list the order is not exactly uh, alphabetical it's kind of tiered uh, OU or last gens OU and I added everything from this gen uh, so make sure to go through that you have four draft pools here I'm just getting ready for if there are um, 64 teams I already have the week one matches set up 
we might have to split this into two conference if we do uh, two conferences if we do get 64 players we have the uh, group stage this is going to be changed to a standings tab uh, and then we have all of the groups we might need to double up on these as well right now there are eight we might need 16 of these as there are four teams on each of these group sheets uh, you have your Pokemon's name that you can put in here, your opponent. Uh, I'm going to change this as well. This is going to be modified uh, because we have five weeks. So we're going to have to change this table. But Pokemon nickname, you can track your kills and deaths. At the end of the season, we can see who the uh, kill leader was. The formulas are already put in here for this to auto adjust to three. So, or whatever number it has to be. And then we have finally the playoff bracket, and this is going to be mirrored on the other side should we have 64 players, which I think is very possible for this tournament. So, uh, guys, I know a lot more people now. A lot of my subscribers are people that I directly speak with and that are in the Draft League community. So if you guys want to participate in this, the reason that I'm bringing this back, if you've made it this far into the video, is because my eventual goal with this is to create a championship series. The GOT is a tournament that will happen two times a year. I am trying to mirror Jolt and the token minorities with their Summer Showdown tournament and their March Madness tournament. I want to create a yearly championship series to determine and have actual rankings for the best player in draft league format because that is often a disputed topic and if we can have solid concrete evidence throughout these four events throughout the year who the best player is that would be fantastic so if we can group in as many great players as we can i want people from the gba to see this i want people from the npl the gpc uh, the PMC, all of the big leagues across the Draft League community. I want people to look at this and be like, this is something that I want to be a part of. So if you're not clear on the rules, like I said, all of them are right here on the sheet. Uh, you even have a, a little link to the thumbnail, to the uh, PNG, excuse me, for the, um, for the actual logo. I'm going to change this to logo. Uh, I'm also going to be making a thumbnail, a custom thumbnail for anybody that wants to upload their battles to their YouTube channel. Uh, because this is uh, completely for helping out the Draft League community. Again, uh, not only growing it, allowing other people to try the uh, the format without having to join a direct league and having to have a lot of prerequisites, but it's also going to help grow YouTube channels. If you want to post your content, uh, you can link other coaches in your descriptions. Uh, I can create a custom description with every coach's link on it so you can paste into your description. Uh, we're here to help each other out and this is one of the ways that we can do it. So like I said, I want to mirror the token minorities in their tournaments throughout the year and create a bi-annual uh, tournament in the GOT and that is what I have done with this. Hopefully this goes as well as it did last year, if not better. Uh, I would love that because last year we had a little bit of disorganization, but now I know what I'm doing a little bit more. The final part of this is that there will also be a link in the description for an application for a an administrator for the GOT. Now, last year I had a lot of trouble uh, keeping everything in check with uh on my own i needed to get help from other players in the got so even if you want to be a player you can also sign up to be an administrator and help with moving the draft along making sure that everybody's making their picks in due time and also uh just with general things like updating the sheet with replays and uh people's scores their uh, kills and deaths if you want to do that as well. Greg, I'm looking at you. You said you wanted to help out. This is a role that you could take even if you don't want, want to be a player this season. Uh, this applies to anybody. If you want to be part of the GOT server and see everything that's going on but you don't necessarily want to play because you have too many other things going on, you can join as an administrator and help as much as you can. Uh, one role that I do want the administrators to have is going to be uh, to help out with po post-draft power rankings, I want a post-draft power rankings done uh, for the top 16 of each conference. You guys saw the conferences before uh, when I brought them up. I'll bring them up again for you. Uh, we do have uh, the Alola conference and the Kalos conference. So I want a top 16 out of the 32 teams in each conference. As you can see, there's only 16 matchups here, but that's because there's going to be two teams on each one so if this is 64 teams i want the top 16 in power rankings only post draft we don't need to do one every week but post draft power rankings if we could get one of those out 
that'd be really cool uh, because I know that people really enjoyed that last season. They watched the full way through to see where their team was, where everybody else was. Uh, I think we did a really good job at power ranking. I want to give a big shout out to Ethan, to Dom, uh, to Rob last season as well. And uh, I can't remember who the last person was with us for the life of me. Uh, but yeah, anyway, a big shout outs to all of you guys. Uh, I think it might have been Johnny. I'm not sure though. Uh, I could check the Discord server right now if I really wanted to. Uh, let's do that. We're already in the GOT. I'll just move that out of the way for you guys. Power rankings was Ethan, me, Rob, uh, and Dom. I think it was just the four of us. Uh, and Johnny was in here too, but I don't think he participated in the video. I'm not sure. Uh, but we had some really cool power rankings, so if we could make that happen again, that'd be really cool. If not, then so be it. But I really want this uh, this tournament to go smoothly. So for any of you that do want to join in as, an, as a, just an administrator or as a player and an administrator, I will be leaving a form for you to fill out and send back to me. I'll be checking regularly to see if anybody wants to help out in that regard. But this is the GOT, guys. It is back officially. I know a lot of people in the server kept asking, when is this coming back? You said we might be doing this again. And uh, like I said, I want to make this a biannual thing, but I need as much help as I can get. It's very hard running a 16-man league on your own. Jolt can, volt, uh, can vouch for that. Jolt can volt. Yes, Jolt can definitely volt switch, but it's, he can also vouch for that. It's very hard running a 16-man uh, league for uh, X amount of weeks. It could be 11, however many. Uh, it's even harder, uh, obviously, just in the in the terms of numbers, uh, to run 64 people and keep it all organized, especially when you have an open system where you're inviting just about anybody to join. Uh, some people that you may not know, you don't know how they're going to be, you don't know if they're going to be organized or not. So, again, as much help as possible would be greatly appreciated. Uh, guys, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait for this to start. I've been waiting for other leagues to finish up so that we can get this going. It's going to be really fun. Uh, make sure to leave your name in the team list. Uh, this is completely open. You can fill it out with all your information. Just leave it here. Uh, make sure to include your Discord tag. This is probably the most important thing so that we can get in co uh, communication with you. And uh, also your coach name, at least your, your actual name. Uh, your internet name on here so that I know how to identify you when I contact you on Discord. Uh, most of you that will sign up will probably be already acquaintances of mine, so uh, that, that'll that be fine. I'll know who you are. But uh, yeah, guys, again, this is going to be awesome. Uh, by the way, this black bar is here. If we hit 32, we can keep going. But the thing is, if we don't fill out the full 64, unfortunately, anybody that signs up after the 32, if we don't get to 64, will unfortunately not be uh, able to participate. Uh, as a player, if you want to stick around in the server and you want to be a coach uh, in the next season or you want to uh, be an administrator for this season, then that's fine. I'll, I'll leave you in the in the server. That's not a problem. But this is going to be awesome, guys. This is going to be huge. I can't wait. Uh, it's back. And uh, thank you all so much for, uh, for watching this video. If you're as excited as I am, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment in the uh, description if you feel like signing up. If anything was unclear and you want me to clarify... Uh, if you want me to clear anything up, definitely leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel. And even more so if you're excited for what's going to happen with this tournament. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Ciao!